Hello everyone. So we are on the Tinkercad dashboard. So based on the link of the classroom that your lab instructor shares with you, please join Tinkercad classroom and use your IIT Jodhpur Google account to log in. And once you reach the dashboard, please click on circuits and then create a new circuit. You have reached the space where you will be making different circuits. You see on the right, you have a range of uh, electrical components uh, available to you. Now here, there would be a random pre-named uh, file. So please click on it and rename it. Say experiment one, blinking of two LEDs alternately. Right, so this is the first part of the experiment on Arduino. So rename it accordingly, right? So I've renamed it. And now this is the space where you will do the experiment. Let us first do the wiring. So for example, uh, we need a breadboard. So in the search, I'm going to write breadboard. Select the breadboard, click on it, and then click here. If you want to rotate any element, you can use this option rotate. You can do the same thing with the keyboard uh, key R, right? So if you go on pressing R, it's going to keep on rotating. So this is true for any components and using the scroll on your mouse, you can zoom out or zoom in in the space. Okay? And when you click on the, on any component, there is a description that opens. So I'm going to just name it as say breadboard, right? Now I need an Arduino Uno. So let me cross this and write Arduino. So we've got Arduino Uno R3 model. So I select it, let me place it somewhere here. You notice here that the power cable is not connected. This USB cable is not connected. That means it is not on yet, right? So whenever we want to turn this on, that means the moment where if you were making this circuit physically, after everything is ready and you've checked the code and everything, that is when you would connect this to the laptop, right? Or connect this to the power. So to do that, we have this button called start simulation, but we'll not go to it right now. Okay. So let us make a simple circuit. Um, I want to blink one single LED, right? So I need an LED. Let me, so here is the LED. I'm placing the LED somewhere here okay, between these two points. So the longer lead, the longer lead is the anode that is a P side. Okay, so I've connected the LED. Remember never to connect an LED without a resistor. So I select a resistor and I've selected, I've connected the resistor here. That means the end side is now connected to the resistor. When I click on the resistor, you notice that it shows me the option of renaming it as well as its value. So let me call it R1. And I want the value to be 100 ohms. Okay, so you notice that the color code on also changed on this resistor. All right, so I'm writing a code where I want the LED to be driven by the signal that comes from pin number nine. Okay, so what we'll do here is that this end side of the resistor should go to ground. So I just click over there, click and drag and take the jumper wire, leave it here. When you click on that node, it will leave the cable here. You can also change the color. So let me change this color to black. And I want the positive side, the P side of the LED to be connected to pin number nine. So I'm gonna take a cable come here and I want to make it symmetric. So I clicked here, so it took a turn and I right over here, I'm going to take another turn and leave it. So this is connected. Now let me change the color of this wire to red. Right. And now all I have to do is program this Arduino so that there is a digital write of high at pin number nine. 
and say it stays for uh, one second and then it disappears after one second, right? So now that my circuit is ready, I'll click on code over here. Okay. And this is a block wise representation of the code. Instead of blocks, select the text. Okay. It says, are you sure you want to close the blocks editor? Yes. Continue. Okay. So this is the kind of code we are familiar with, right? And right now this is a default code that says, uh, pin 13 is the output and, uh, you know, pin 13 is set high, but we decided that this is pin nine for us, right? So let me change, make this pin nine and uh, it waits for thousand milliseconds. That's one second to turn it high, then again, turn it low. So my code is set. And this is when I'm going to start the simulation. And you notice that when I'm going to start the simulation, this cable, USB cable is going to get plugged in and this, this small LED showing on off that is going to glow. Okay, so let's see, let me turn off the code okay. and start simulation. Right. So my simulation has started, timer has started running and you notice that the LED is glowing and turning off and glowing and turning off every one second. Right. And you notice that the Arduino is powered, the cable is connected and this is the simplest possible Arduino circuit that we could make. Now, right now the components part is selected. If you want to view anything on the serial monitor, as if you were displaying this on a command prompt. So you go to code and you see the option of serial monitor, right? So this is like, you can click and uh, increase the size. So if I wanted to display something here, right? So this is where this these values will go on uh, displaying. So think of this to be the output, like uh, the output command where some output will be displayed. And if you want to view anything on the serial plotter, means you want an alternative representing the oscilloscope or the DSO. So you see this option here on the bottom right, this is serial plotter. So we can always increase the size and depending on what kind of visualization we're looking for. So I'm gonna close this for now. So this is serial monitor and serial plotter. And this is where you would write your codes. Note that I cannot make any change to the code while the simulation is running. So if I have to edit anything, I should click on stop simulation. And then I'll be able to make any changes. So if I wanted to make this as 100 milliseconds. Right? So the speed of the blinking has increased. There are a range of components which are available. Please check them out. So in components, you can also select all and then you can see all the components that are there. So there are resistors, capacitors, uh, diodes, zener, inductor, push buttons, potentiometer. We have a photoresistor that is a light dependent resistor. So a lot of such uh, electronic components that we use are here listed. So please check them out. I want to particularly talk about measuring instruments like the multimeter. See, you also have a function generator, oscilloscope, all these things which we can use. So a multimeter, as you know, is a multi-purpose meter, right? That means it can be used to measure uh, voltage, current, resistance. Suppose I wanted to measure the voltage across this PN junction diode, right? This LED. Right? That means I need a multimeter, which I want to place across these two terminals. So I'm going to select the mode of its operation as voltage. And I take and place it here. And there's a positive terminal, which I'm going to take and place here. And the negative terminal, which I'll take and place here, right? So this is how I would have connected this multimeter. Let me change the color, say red and black and black, right? So 
Essentially, when I'm going to run this code now, this multimeter is going to act as a voltmeter and I've placed it parallel to this LED. So it's going to show me the voltage across this LED. And we have made the time to be 3000 seconds so that there is sufficient time, there's a sufficient delay where we can observe this voltage. So instead of uh, 1000 or 100 milliseconds, I've made this three seconds. Okay. So let's start the simulation. Okay. So you notice that when the LED is forward biased, that means it's glowing, the voltage across it is 1.89 volt. And when it's off, the voltage across it is nothing, it's open. Let me change this uh, to an ammeter. So let me delete these connections. And now I want to use this as an ammeter. So I'm going to change the reading. And an ammeter should be connected in series with the component that you're trying to measure the current through, right? So ammeter measures current and it should be connected in series. So that means I need to insert it somewhere in this circuit. So let me just remove this resistor, place it here, and let me have this multimeter placed between these two points. Right? I've inserted this and now I'll just connect these two. So changing the colors. Okay, so I've inserted this in between. Okay. So I'm going to start the simulation now. So you notice that when the LED is glowing, that is when it's forward bias, there's almost a three milliampere current that flows. And when the LED is reverse biased, it's not glowing, there is no current that flows through it. Let us also try and use uh, this multimeter as a ohm meter. So let me delete this. Always remember that when you are trying to uh, measure resistance of any resistors. So in fact, we don't need any of this. Let me just uh, take this to the side. Let me take this multimeter here. Let us take any, any general resistor. Place it here. So remember that whenever you're trying to measure resistance using a multimeter, the component across which you're measuring the resistor should not be powered. That means it should not be part of a powered circuit. Wherever uh, you want to measure it, please turn off the power and then you keep the two leads across the resistor or any component and then measure the resistance, okay? This is particularly for use as an ohm meter. So let me rotate this and one lead here and the other lead here. And I've selected it to be a ohm meter and start simulation. Doesn't matter what's happening on the right side. Remember what we discussed about a light dependent resistor that is an LDR. So let me just remove this for a second and bring in this photoresistor. A photoresistor is, a, uh, is made up of a semiconductor device such that this is a photoresistive material. That means when light falls on it, its resistance decreases. And when light does not fall on it, its resistance is something very large, okay? So we're going just quickly going to test that part and let me rotate this and show you how it works. So connecting the two leads. Doesn't matter what the color is, I'm just showing it in this way because that's how the actual uh, color of the cables in the multimeters are. Okay. So I'm going to start. Right, so you see that right now it's showing 180 kilo ohm. How to change the illumination in the simulator? So just click on this. You notice there is a bar. So right now, so if you move this to the left-hand side, brightness is going to increase, like more and more amount of light is falling on it. So right now, this is the darkest moment. And when the LDR is under darkness, like there's no light falling on the surface, the resistance is 180 kilo ohm. And if I go on increasing this brightness, the illumination falling on the surface, you notice that the resistance went on decreasing and finally it was 506. So the two limits of this particular photoresistor, under illumination, under maximum illumination is 506 and under total darkness is 180, 180 kilo ohm. 
please feel free to explore these components and this Tinkercad platform to understand everything and to simulate all the things that we have seen till now okay, in this course. At the end, after it is simulated, please leave it as it is. Stop the simulation and leave it. Okay. This project, because if you are added in the classroom, if Tinkercad classroom of the uh, respective lab, then this project will automatically stay there under your projects, okay, under your activities. So please don't delete this. Uh, to start a new project, just go back to the uh, dashboard. Okay. So this one that I just created is visible now. Then go to uh, create new circuit and experiment two. Uh, controlling brightness using something else so like this so just rename the part and continue tinkering thank you i hope you have fun